My in-studio guest, along with his wife, Elise Doganieri, is the co-creator and executive producer of The Amazing Race. 40 Primetime Emmy Award nominations since 2003. Nine Primetime Emmy Awards for the Best Reality Competition Show. And the one time I got to work with him, I had a one-and-done experience, unfortunately. The only one-and-done experience this man's probably ever had when I was trying to be a... The uh, reality host of something called The Great Escape on TNT. The Amazing Race, season 26 on CBS, debuting February 25th. Bertram Van Munster, good to see you. Rich, good to see you. How is, how is life for you, man? Life is... <clears throat> how could it be bad, you know? It's I always mean, good for you. 26 seasons, and I must correct you, 10 Emmys. 10 for Emmys. <laughs> I'm, hey, listen, I, 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 I didn't mean to short you an Emmy Award. I, I shorted Jay Glazer a month earlier on in this program for one of his for one of his uh, scoops. Um, so how, wh how did The Amazing Race come about? What was the idea, well, the, the genesis? Well, the person that is not here is Elise. Yes, your wife. And my wife, but then my friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she said to me, so uh, what are you guys doing with the television? There's not much happening there. I said, well, you know, since you're, since you're so smart, why mm -hmm. don't you come up with a good idea? She said, I'll take you on. <clears throat> I never forget, it was like 6.30 in the morning. And she says to me, three minutes later, I got it. Mm -hmm. well, what do you got? I mean, how good can this be? She yeah. says, well, these are people, that, we have team, six or eight teams of two people that know each other really well. They race around the world. And the first one that comes back to the United States wins the proverbial million dollars. Mm -hmm. And they have to do challenges. They have to use uh, camels, horses, airplanes, bicycles, what have you. I said, well, it's not a bad idea. Let me see if we can sell this. And within 14 days, it was sold. 14 days and that's 15, to CBS? And that's 15 years ago, yeah. 15 years ago and yeah. now 26 seasons of, yeah. of The Amazing Race. Yeah. February 25th at 9.30 p.m. on CBS. So three, it took three minutes for Elise to just put her mind to it it's and just, just say this is the idea. unbelievable. She is a brilliant, brilliant woman. I know. I worked, again, yeah, I worked with the with both her. of you yeah. for, 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 that real, for the reality show The Great Escape on, on TNT. I, I, I want to hit on that uh, with you here. Show. But what was, what, was, what was your first gig? Because I know you've been at this game a long time. Your first gig, first, Bertram Van Munster's job, first gig. I worked in a in a film lab, mm -hmm. uh, trying to make ends meet, uh, I'm, and that that was my job. Work in a film lab as an assistant of the assistants. I was a nobody. When was this? I, I can't tell you. That's too long ago. Okay. <laughs> it's too embarrassing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was in the late fifties, and. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I made my, worked my way up there as an assistant, assistant cameraman, mm -hmm. assistant director, assistant editor. I did all these jobs, and I worked with really, really, really good people. And then I moved. Uh, then I tried to get a job at a company in Holland uh, as an assistant cameraman, and the guy said, "No, you're, you're not an assistant. You have too much experience. You're, you, you, you're director of photography." I said, "Director of photography? I worked with director of photography. I know how difficult that is. Mm -hmm. It's a very complicated job." He says, "You can do it," uh, and he gave me the job. And he must have spotted some talent, I guess, because when I was 20, when I turned 24 years old, I got an award for the best commercial, best photographed commercial of that year. So, and I recently actually spoke to the guy. I still thanked him for giving me an opportunity and recognized, recognized that I had talent. What was the commercial for? It was for uh, stockings. Stockings. Yes. Back in the day in Back Holland. In Holland stockings. <clears throat> in Holland, yeah. Okay, I'll take it. So, um, and then eventually, who, so name some of the hosts that you've worked with. Other well, than I caught, I, over the years, yeah. I worked with Rich Eisen. That's right. Yes. Uh, thank you for starting with that one. Yes. Who I else? I worked with Phil Cogan. Right. And I've worked with a lot of, lot of amazing talent, Roger Moore, uh, you name it, everybody that has gone through the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, 80s, sooner or later, I've, wor I've worked with these Didn't people. you tell me when we're, st we're setting up a shot, I believe it was in an insane asylum, yeah. I believe, as you were waiting for the, f the, the helicopter yeah. that you hired to yeah. come zooming by to shoot this shot, which, by the way, talk about the pressure of getting a take right, because yeah. if you blow it, the helicopter's got to come back around again. Exactly. Um, did, was it Danny Kay that you told me you yeah, worked with? Yeah, I worked with Danny Kay. Yeah, fantastic. An amazing, uh, amazing man. Uh, very impressive how he approached the whole thing. And he asked me, he says, uh, who are you? I said, I'm the director of photography. He says, you're the director of photography. Mm -hmm. He says, you're the guy that screws around with these lights all the time. He says, I'm not in the mood to be standing around and wait for you guys to light this. He mm -hmm. said, I've been too long in this business. I said, Mr. K, can I say something? He said, yeah, go ahead. I said, I brought, I'm an immigrant. I brought one light. He says, where are you going to put it? 
<laughs> because he always had an answer. I said, right behind the camera. He says, you're hard. You're hard. Yep. Danny K. Hard. You. Bertram Van Munster, co-creator, executive producer of The Amazing Race. You also spent eight years as a producer and cinematographer on Cops. Yes, what I was did. The, what was the craziest story that you were physically present for on Cops? <laughs> it was Bert? every day it was craziness. And it was a fantastic opportunity, again, to... Uh, to produce a show and shoot a show in co complete cinema verite, which was unheard of. And I must say, again, John Langley and Malcolm Barmer are the ones that gave me the opportunity to, mm -hmm. to do this for them. But the, the situation was very hairy, you know. I mean, I'm still in touch with... We worked in over 120 jurisdictions around the United States of America. Yeah, I got shot at. I got hit by the two-by-four. I went out cold. And all you got hit by a two-by-four? I got hit by a two-by-four <laughs> from behind. Uh, it was a family in New Mexico that had a little bit of an argument and uh, they were running around with a 9mm and we ran after these guys and the family came after me mm -hmm. and they whacked me and I was a little dizzy for a couple hours and you know, we moved on. But it was, a, it was, in a way, it's also, uh, Cops was also a comedy. It's not just a crime show. It is also very much a comedy. A comedy? I think so. I think so. I think it's a lot of fun moments and people misunderstandings and, and nonstop uh, craziness, you know, and booze and cars and misunderstandings and love triangles. It's, it never ends. It never ends. <laughs> and every domestic is different and it's just a t total absurdity. How many, uh, how many frequent flyer miles do you have? Bertram. I have no idea, but I just... Come on, give me a good... Give me a round I, have, I don't know how many, but I just checked on one of my accounts. Yes. And it was a, uh, a million five. Oh, my gosh. So you don't have to pay for a flight ever again. Well, I'm trying as little as possible That's to what, pay for it. Because you don't want to... What, what do you, you don't probably travel just for... Just for kicks, right? For fun, I don't travel. Well, yeah. You, no, yeah, you, absolutely this, not. You must staycation all the time. No, I stay, I stay home. Yeah. Bertram Van Munster is here. Let's take a quick 60-second break. We come back. We're going to talk about the, uh, a little bit of The Amazing Race. I want an unvarnished opinion of how I am as a reality host. I will. I want an unvarnished opinion of that. And plus, we're going to put you, uh, we're going to test you, as well as the radio audience and television audience, to guess. We're going to give you four game shows around the world, reality shows or game shows. You're going to have to choose the, the one that's real. All right. There's three fake ones. That's still to come. Okay, that's Bertram Van Munster of The Amazing Race. Don't go anywhere. We're back with more here on The Rich Eisen Show in just one minute's time. Welcome back to The Rich Eisen Show, The Amazing Race. Again, the upcoming season, season 26, premieres Wednesday, February 25th on CBS. The co-creator, executive producer of The Amazing Race, Bertram Van Munster, staying here in studio for one more segment. So we've talked about you've been, you, you worked... Uh, in commercials in Europe, you yeah. worked with Danny Kaye and various, and Roger Moore, one of the Bonds. Uh, you uh, got hit by a two by four in cops. You also shot uh, footage in Afghanistan and Iraq. You did that too? Yeah, I was in, in the beginning of both wars. I was very, very interested because I, I saw that the world was making a major shift. And I wanted to be part of that. I wanted to be there. So uh -huh. I went, uh, I was invited. Well, I was in, kind of invited by special operations. They said, if you want to jump in the back of the pickup truck, we're not here to protect you. But if you want to take the chance, you know, you can come with us. Uh, so we went on a bunch of missions with them. We spent three months in Afghanistan at the beginning of the war, 2003. And then later on, I was also in, uh, in, uh, in Iraq. And uh, we were very early on in Saddam's palaces. There was no furniture there. It was really interesting to see all the stuff. Drove around Baghdad, bought cars on the street. Oh, uh, was pretty. It was pretty wild, and people people were very pro, uh, very viva bouche type of thing. Mm -hmm. We drove everywhere. We went everywhere. People were very very nice, and I can't, I can't believe why this happened to this country. But unfortunately, but I'm here with the, it was rough. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm a co-creator, executive producer, and the most interesting man in the world uh, of the Amazing Race, Bertram Van Munster, right here. So the Super Bowl was a big finish, right? And uh, where everybody thought one team was going to win, and then... The other one won. The other one won. Did that ever happen in The Amazing Race? Does that ever happen? To yes. You? It happened? actually really happened. There was, we had a situation in San Francisco, right underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, mm -hmm. that there's one team that are running, running, running. They're, they're well ahead of another team. They're both getting out of a car and running towards the finish line. Right. And one of the team members of the first team was kind of falling behind a little bit, and the other team, were literally in the last... I would say 150 feet took over and won a million bucks. No kidding. Yeah, it was it was stunning because the other people they were sure they had it, and I was sure they had it. I've never been able to guess who's going to win anyway. Right. 
uh, but the other guys overtook him. Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I know you and Elise are uh, the the competition. It's it's sacred that you have to obviously try and chronicle it as best you can right. without being part of it. Right. And you know, I, I've I've seen episodes of Amazing Race where yeah. somebody drops their passport on the yeah. ground, and and your your photographers shoot it, but they yeah. can't say, hey, you dropped something pretty can't damn pick important. It up. No. It you know. happened in Moscow. It happened in Moscow. And there's uh, some places you don't want to lose your passport. Moscow would be one of them. Yeah, that's one of them. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's actually, yeah, you have to le leave it on the ground. And, uh, but on the other hand, also, we've met a lot of people in Moscow that would give money or whatever in Russia. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have a, yeah, people lose passports, lose airline tickets. I've lost my passport in Kiev at the airport. How'd that go for you? Uh, actually, it was a surprise because there were hundreds and hundreds of people. It's a small airport in Kiev, mm -hmm. in the Ukraine. And uh, I lost my passport. I go to the immigration officer. I don't have my passport. A lady says, wait over here. I wait 20 minutes. So, out of hundreds and hundreds of people, somebody picked up my passport and gave it back to me. See, you are, see, it's unbelievable. You are, you're a blessed man, Bert. There's no question about it. With 10 Emmy Awards, <laughs> 10 Emmy Awards, my, my bad. So let's, let's, you know, again, you, you've been there, you've done that. We've established you have as much experience as anybody else, certainly in this area of reality and uh, television and, 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 uh, and technically game shows. Uh, we have four game shows here. One of them is real. We'll see if you can pick this one out, mm -hmm. okay? And, and you too. You, Chris is, I don't know, you, Law, do you know which yeah, we, one's yeah, oh, we, already we kinda, know. Okay. Kinda, yeah, we both. So here's, let's put the first one up on the screen and I'll read it out to the radio audience. This one is from Australia called Crikey Bikey. Daring motorcyclists and their sidecar warriors joust on back roads with lances, morning stars, and nunchucks made from kangaroo bones. That's either fake or real. Keep that in your mind's eye. Here's number two, that's Crikey Bikey. Number two is Lizard Attack in Japan. Frightened schoolgirls have pork chops taped to their foreheads and are then licked and lightly bitten by a hungry monitor lizard. <laughs> what? Do you think either one of those is real yet, Bert? What do you think? I uh, think one could be real. Okay. Can, can uh, you next one. The look on his face. Next one. Yeah, he's 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 somewhat <laughs> nonplussed, as they might say. This one is from Mongolia, called the Yurt Squads. We also have, you know, the actual uh, lettering that's up there. Teams build weatherproof yurts to protect a burning candle for 12 hours on the windblown Mongolian steppe. Prize: ten dwarf Lulu yaks. Do you think that could be possibly real, Drew? Uh, I mean, uh, no. Bert, do you think no. that's false? No, I think it's false. Okay. Here's the last one. Here's the last one um, from Brazil. Trampoium da Verdade. Ce celebrity contestants watch scantily clad housewives bounce on the trampoline of silicone to assess which, if any, body parts are fake. I think that's real. You think that's the real one? Yeah, it's real. The real one is actually the one from Japan where people get licked by, yeah. by lizards. I could, see I could see that. Do you think we could make, you and I, the one that's Brazil, the trampoline one, can you and I pitch that one together? We could pitch it, but I don't think we can sell it. You don't think so? No. <laughs> what if I'm the host? What if I get to be the host? I want to no, work that would, with you that again, would be Bertrand. very different, of course, yeah. That, 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 would, that probably could may tip the scale. Why don't we give Elise three minutes to workshop it? Yeah. But, uh, and we'll come up with the idea, and let's go to Les. You know. That's the way to go. Don't you think? That, that's definitely the way to go. Uh, should I have called him <laughs> Mr. Moonves, though? Should I have done that? What do you think? He's a super guy. Okay, there I you think go. you can call him less. Hey, listen, you won 10 Emmy Awards for him, so, you know, that, that works. Uh, congratulations again on season 26, yeah, Bert. Thank you so much. Oh, Fantastic. I can't wait to see it. Rich, yeah, great, thank you. You are the man. That's Bertram thank Van you. Munster of The Amazing Race. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.